The Glenview Mansion in Rockville is currently holding the annual student art show. Participants and their families recently attended the opening day reception to see their works of art on display. Rockville 11's Christine Rice reports. Just as it has for decades, Glenview Mansion is hosting the Rockville Student Art Show. The exhibition displays works of art by Rockville students from kindergarten through 12th grade. March is known as Student Art Show Month, offering art exhibitions around the country. This show has been a staple of the Rockville community for 30 years. Julie Farrell, the arts program specialist for the city of Rockville, has been running the event for 10 years. It's crazy because we get hundreds of pieces that come in, uh, but the best thing is the kids who have an appreciation for art, or even who might not, come in, see their work displayed, where normally is the work of some very well-established artist is hanging. Um, they can see their work there, and it's sort of pride of place for them. Students of various ages and their families came to the opening reception to see their artwork hung in the Glenview Mansion Art Gallery. Some of this art was awarded a ribbon for first, second, or third place, or honorable mention. Yeah, definitely. I'll do it next year. This is the first time I heard about it, so I just submitted something, and um, luckily I got this honorable mention. So, yeah. Craig Witt, the temporary president of the Rockville Art League, sees this exhibition as an exciting opportunity for the students' love of art to grow. To see the kids come in, and uh, they have such a deep love for art, and uh, that really caught my heart. It really touched me because, it, you know, you just don't see that a lot today. Uh, it seems like people kind of getting away from art, but the kids are still at it. They're still creative. You can catch the student art show at the Glenview Mansion until Thursday, March 5th. For more information, go to rockvillemd.gov slash Glenview Gallery. For County Report This Week, I'm Christine Rice.